this video made in order to explain the biomedical waste management. The waste management in that particularly the management of biomedical waste. And what is biomedical waste? Biomedical waste is any waste produced during the diagnosis, treatment or immunization of humans or animals. Research activities pertaining to the production or testing of biological materials, they all come under the category biomedical waste. The waste that may be produced during diagnosis, treatment or immunization of humans or animals. This is the one. Or even during research activity, there may be a plenty of biomedical components, uh, waste materials are produced and that all comes under biomedical wastes. The common sources of this biomedical waste is, you know, uh, that is hospitals. That waste may be in the form of a solid or a liquid. Uh, Usually, infectious waste includes discarded blood, sharps, unwanted microbiological cultures and stucks in like body parts, uh, other human or animal tissues, bandage, dressing materials, like plenty of waste we ob observe, they are uh, coming from uh, the hospitals. The hospital is a major source for a biomedical waste, health clinics and even nursing home the emergency medical services and even the medical research laboratory, the tissue cultures or while uh, uh, doing some research activities like to uh, prevent some infectious uh, uh, diseases, we have to carry a lab test that during that time the unwanted materials are produced. And even offices of physicians, dentists, veterinary, veterinarians, uh, home health care, uh, funeral homes like uh, even a uh, uh, blood bank, uh, in there uh, we observe a bo body, uh, body fluids and even the laboratory waste that exhibits the, uh, uh, shows the, uh, or taken as a waste. The common generators of biomedical waste are hospitals, health clinics, nursings. They are all concerned, they are the main sources of biomedical waste. So, what are the categories of biomedical waste. So they are categorized into a code number of 1 to 10. The first uh, way is a human anatomical waste. It includes tissues, organs and body part. Then animal waste, it includes animals used in research and waste originating from or, uh, veterinary hospitals and even animal houses etc. Then uh, microbiology and biotechnological waste, it includes waste from lab cultures, specimens of microorganism, uh, etc. Then waste sharps, it includes, it usually comes from the hospitals, it includes uh, needles, syringe, uh, blades, etc. Then uh, discarded medicines and cytotoxic drug, like when the medicines are expired, uh, they, instead of uh, uh, following a proper disposal method, if we directly dump into the uh, river, water, uh, river, water or uh, soil, then that is that causes uh, or, uh, the waste enter into the atmosphere. Then uh, soil waste, uh, uh, the soil waste it comes contaminated with the blood or a body fluid, including cotton dressing, linen plaster, uh, uh, plasters. Uh, etc. Then solid waste, it includes waste from disposal items other than waste sharks such as uh, catheter, tubing, etc. Then liquid waste, it includes waste from laboratory, washing, cleaning, housekeeping, the liquid waste is like uh, uh, the, uh, the other like body fluids, etc. Then incineration ash, obtained by incineration of any biomedical waste. The disposing one disposing method of biomedical waste is the incineration. During that period, so the ash what we collected, it is a the one uh, will come uh, come at, uh, come under one category. Then chemical waste it includes the chemicals used in infectious and insects.
So these are the ten categories of uh, biomedical waste: human, ana, ana, anatomical waste, animal waste, microbiology and micro biotechnological waste, waste shops, discarded medicines and cytotoxic drug, soil waste, solid waste, liquid waste, incineration waste, and the chemical waste. Next, I'll consider how we should dispose. this component or what is the uh, rules implemented by the government biomedical waste management rules is implemented in the 2016 in that time the waste are categorized into a four category and it is the uh, um, categorized in the four format like yellow red waste white waste and blue waste the yellow waste they are all animal anatomical waste soil waste expired medicine chemical waste bloody fluid clinical waste they all comes under yellow waste red waste contaminated waste that means recyclable waste plastic bags bottle pipes container catheters etc then white waste is a blades needle sharp components needle tip cutter sharp metals etc etc and the broken glassware cytotoxic waste metallic body implant contaminated glass including medicine vials etc they all comes under the blue waste so these uh, compounds or components are hazardous in nature they are categorized into four that is uh, it may be infectious injurious cytotoxic or chemical so they are uh, based on that it is subjected to a particular type of treatment the goals of biomedical waste treatment are to reduce or eliminate the hazards the hazards may be it may be infectious injurious or cytotoxic or chemical to reduce this hazardness we should carry a biomedical waste treatment the treatment should render the waste safe for subsequent handling and disposal there are several method in, uh, adopted the one method is a incineration method that may be we adopt a microwave method autoclave method hydroclave method uh, plasma torch technology medical waste sterilization unit okay so these are the uh, main uh, uh, techniques we adopted uh, other than this even uh, some composting uh, is adopted it is uh, developed by india and even uh, the recycling method and reusing methods they are rarely used reused or recycled the most common methods are the sanitary filling or even uh, we can adopt the incineration method like incinerator incinerator or even microwave heating then autoclave then even hydroclave by using a water we can introduce plasma torch technology the other method is so medical sterilization that is reuse we can reuse that medical component the heavy metals and plastic cannot be burnt in incinerator so they usually burnt in a microwave microwave cannot take up a large pieces of metals and body parts of this for this infections the autoclave does not reduce the volume and may increase the weight of the waste due to moisture so like there are some limitations of using this okay i'll take one or few methods in detail land uh, sanitary landfill is a modern engineering landfill where waste is allowed to decompose in biologically or chemically uh, inert material in a uh, setting from the environment so it is it may be a hydrogeological isolation of waste from the environment or formal engineering preparation before the site are ready to accept the waste trained staff on site control operation organized deposit and daily coverage of waste so they are these things you have uh, they should consider while uh, going a uh, sanitary landfill method 
Another method is a composting. The composting is in is a form of waste disposal where organic waste to decompose. There are two way the composting method, mechanical and anaerobical method. In anaerobic method is also called as a Bangalore method. Indian Council of Agricultural Research at Indian Institute of Science developed, and in this method. Uh, uh, there are the layers are uh, introduced in the first layer of uh, refuse about six inch thickness is uh, introduced and then there is a uh, formed manure uh, the composting component is introduced then over this night soil is added of uh, two inch then alternative layer of a uh, night soil and reuse are introduced till the uh, sheep rise to one feet above the ground level okay so it is just a depositing of uh, these components like uh, one one layer of uh, refuse and then over uh, a night soil night soil is nothing but uh, excretion in materials then again refuse like so around uh, the height reaches to around certain feet feet one feet height then uh, the ground the top layer of refuse at least uh, Nine inches introduced. Ship is covered with excavated earth. Then it is spun. Then within seven day, heat is generated. Heat persists two to three weeks and destroy almost all pathogenic uh, bacteria. And uh, keep as it is for about uh, four to six months. So the complete decomposition take place. As a result, a well decomposed, odorless, uh, high manurial value. Uh, uh, compost is produced and it can be used ready for application to the land. Okay, it is just uh, introducing alternative uh, refuse uh, material with that of the na uh, night soil. Okay, then other method is a composting, mechanical composting. It is an aerobic method. Refuse first cleared uh, of uh, um, salvable materials, then uh, pulverized. In the pulverizing equipment, reduce the particle size to two inch, small small particles made into, then mix it with with the sewage sludge or night soil in rotating machine and incubate it forever. And it is uh, the composting is completed within four to six weeks. Then other method, what we call it as a recycling method. Recycling is not generally practiced by the health healthcare facilities because uh, some infectious is there. Uh, uh, um, component if it is recycled then uh, it may spread okay that's when silver form fixing baths used uh, in uh, processing x-ray films can be recycled there are few materials can be recycled the recycling of materials such as a uh, metals paper glass plastics can result in saving of the healthcare facilities in uh, temperate climate the heat generated by one site incinerators may be an attractive and cost effective option for heating uh, hospital premises. Then reusing, reusable item may include certain sharks. That is uh, by sterilization we can adopt a, uh, or we can reuse that material and then it is not uh, uh, in actual countries. Uh, syringes, glass for nowadays they are not uh, we are preferred uh, should be collected separately from the non-reusable uh, non item and carefully washed and then sterilized then it may be used. Long-term radionucleotides conditions as a pin needles or seeds uh, and used for radiotherapy may be reused for us uh, after sterilization. There are certain types of container may be reused provided that they are carefully washed and disinfected. It's very important before using these equipments, it should be uh, washed thoroughly and sterilized and disinfected. Containers of pressurized gas, however, should generally be sent to the specialized centers to be refilled. Containers that once held detergent or other liquid may be reused as a containers for a sharp waste. So these are the certain methods we adopt in order to minimize a biomedical waste. Thank you.